10 days ago was the winter 2023 rocket league state championship event 10 days later is the start of the spring 2023 valorant season i am your fellow city commentator andrew Schist jr pleased to be taking you through today's matchup between the appleton east patriots and the racing park panthers currently i am coming to you live from not your parents basement as my pc says i'm not gonna run valorant so i said screw you and went to nypb with their masterful setup nonetheless though let's get into some notes for today's matchup and there's not that many as obviously the season's just starting for valorant obviously it's my first season casting valorant for wasia which is in total going to be my fourth season full time for wasia probably my last one is again i'll be going to carthage college in fall 2023 but uh, on the side of Appleton East, Division 1, uh, players consist of Simon Zeldis, a great Smash player, might I add, Jonathan Qput11, Tim Kolschnow, Michael Mikey, and Logan Red Ninja 12 Again, no regular season stats to report just yet, as this is only week one, and the note sheets are going to expand as the season goes on, so don't you worry. Uh, on the on the right half the home team racing park panthers division one much like appleton east uh players consist of ramon tailspear who is a great it person for park might i add casey jocelyn alex not sure how to pronounce that harper Mimao, and adam ssg pickle winter 2023 stats obviously nothing to report there as well so with that being said we will be getting into the matchup shortly here in about eight minutes time. Here is the beautiful overlay for the Valorant season. We see a logo down there. And as you see, Appleton East logo and Racing Park logo as well. All right. I'll be communicating with Park to get into the lobby in order to cast today's matchup. So stick around. All right, looks like Park is going to be ready to start. Uh, waiting on word for Apple City to see if they're ready to start as well. Oh. Uh, 
And if you're just joining the stream, this is the Varsity Week 1 Match of the Week stream for the Spring 2023 Valorant season featuring the Apple Sunnies Patriots taking on the Racine Park Panthers. Who are currently here at NYPB alongside me as you can hear the coach uh, Travis in the background. Looks like all players of Appleton East are in, as well as Park. The map is going to be bind for week one. Uh, once again, a reminder is that the map changes every week. So, for example, this week will be the bind map. And then if we go over to... If I pull up the rules here, Lotus will be uh, the map for week two. Whopping 16 people on Twitch. Not sure how many are on YouTube as I don't have the uh, restream docs up and running. Currently one person watching on YouTube. Shout out to all of you for tuning into today's stream as we are about to get underway shortly. All right, and the match is going to begin. Let's see the picks. Looks like Park is going to start out on the defense while Appleton East gets their first taste of attacking. We see a Sova from Zeldas, see a Razor from Unmasked, a Chamber from Scenic, Omen from Snow, and Raina, I believe, from 11621. Interesting. Got a Raise from Park. Brimstone, Phoenix, Sage, and a and a sky. Louvs playing as Rays, Tailspear playing as Brimstone, Pickle playing as Phoenix, Mimao playing as Sage, Jocelyn playing as Sky. Zelda's playing as Sova, Unmasked, Raze, Scenic, Chamber, Snowshroom, Omen, and 11621 playing as Reyna. It looks like we got a game frozen over on the park end. I'm not sure if we're going to have to remake the lobby or not. Well, we will have to see what happens. And fun fact, since I have more time to kill here, this is my first new game that I've been that I've had the privilege of streaming since Smash Bros. back in fall 2022. So excited to expand my portfolio portfolio, excuse me, even more. And I'll be casting Horlick baseball games come next Wednesday. There's exciting opportunities out there for me. I'm ready to make the best of them. Always takes a minute or two for the game to load up. Man, level 168 for love or Louvs as a raise. That's insane. I mean, I'm a level 210 in Rainbow Six Siege, but man, that, that just takes a lot of time to get to that high of a level. All right, round number one is going to commence here. Toggle the free cam. And we will be set for round number one. Appleton East on the attack. It's looking like Scenic is going to have control of the spike. So we'll keep tabs on him and see what he is able to do with that spike. We'll see if Appleton East can have a good push, or will Racine Park start out strong on the defense for the first round? We shall find out in a matter of 38 seconds. Oh, 
Not sure why the in-game timer isn't moving down. In the first round, everybody usually has pistols, as that's how games like this start. It's the same way with a game like Paladins, where you don't have enough points necessarily to buy an AR, a marksman rifle, a sniper rifle. You have to wait as the rounds progress in order to purchase the weapons that you want. That's a little bit of a tidbit of information for those who are new to Valorant. I, for one, am new to Valorant, except I have the background knowledge of how these 5v5 shooters work out, so that's why I'm here commentating it. I'm not sure why the in-game clock is not going at all here. I will go get an update on Parks and on what is happening. Stick around. Alright, here is the update. One of the players on Park's End did end up crashing, so the game was paused in order to get him back into the match. So, for those of you who were confused, just joining in, that is your answer. Tailspear just going at it with that knife right now. Hovering around the camera here, checking out the beautiful map of Bind. We are still waiting on the park member to rejoin the matchup. Looks like a spike switch has happened. Snowstrom is going to take hold of it. Moments like this, it gives the players an opportunity to just breathe, relax, get into the mindset of playing in this matchup. As a round one advantage win would possibly help one of these teams win uh, the entire matchup in general here. Nice variety with the crosshairs as well. Good skin for that gun as well. Got hit. Wouldn't be able to see a stream without some technical difficulties. Got hit.
looks like one of the park players is going to have to shift PCs, so that'll take a little bit more time. Uh, it sucks that we have a technical delay for this. Just a friendly reminder that the Winter 2023 Rocket League State Championship Division Gauntlet will be kicking off this Monday, April 3rd. It'll be Deerfield, the Division 5 champion, taking on Wisconsin Connections Academy, the Division 4 champion. And a best of seven series. That one should be an absolute slobber knocker, as Jim Ross would say. So be sure to tune in this Monday for that matchup. Also, be sure to come back here this Thursday for JV Week 1 of Valorant. I will reveal the matchup after the matchup today concludes. So stick around for that announcement. get this show on the road shortly here it's already been 10 minutes since the tech issue has occurred it's also a great time for the players to start practicing hitting targets because there's a lot of boxes out there to hit test out their abilities they could do whatever they would like in the spare time to prep for this matchup. Much like you've seen on the social media posts from myself, both of these teams had a struggle fest of a Rocket League campaign for Witcher 2023. Both went two and six, and they both did not make the playoffs. All right, the pop from Park. Igniting from NYPB. And it looks like we're going to get the match started here very shortly. Alright, looks like Appleton's ready. Matchup should finally be starting. All right, timer's off. Match is going to start. I 
Round one is set to commence in a matter of seconds. 20 to be exact. As we shall see where Apple Sinise is going to go with the spike. Are they going to go A site? Are they going to go B site? Only one way to find out. Caution here. Caution here. Caution here. The Stormstream once again, or Snowstream, excuse me, has the spike for Apple Sinise as they make their way. Jocelyn immediately trying to engage one. Launches out his beast and that one gets destroyed. The second one gets destroyed as well. Zelda, Scenic, and Snow are at the scene. Jocelyn does not know that though. Gets it disoriented. Omen trying to get Jocelyn. Jocelyn backs up into the corner. Has two of them on him. Is he able to do anything? Tries to pop one. Oh, gets one with a headshot with a pistol. Gets two. And Zelda gets him down. Pickles able to do gets blasted by 111. 3v3 now. On mass trying to peek Mima. Blues gets one. Mima gets the second one. Oh, and Tail Spear cleans it up for Bark as they take the first round. Looked like Appleton East had that advantage early in the round. Park was able to swing back and take it in their own direction. Great hustle by Park to make sure Appleton East could not get that spike planted. Alright, let's see what's going to happen in this exchange here. Scenic. Trying to find a way. They're trying to make their way to B site. Pickle gets one. 1 1 1 gets another one. Snowstream opens fire. Montaloo is not able to uh, attract him. As he goes around for a potential flank. 1 on 1 shooting th within the smoke. Trying to see if there's one. Lou's trying to flank Snow. Doesn't look like he sees him there. Mima gets one. 1 on 1 gets a second. Out of charges. Tail Spear throws on him. Locks up a 1 on 1. Gets that kill. Tail Spear narrowing it down to a 3v2 in favor of Park. Stim Beacon down. Puts the Stim Beacon down wisely. Zeldis. Trying to lock with one of them. Scenic finds one. He's going to try to flank around here. Using the ship here. Spike is being planted, except Lou's right there, but Zeldis puts that cleanup. And the spike is going to be planted by Appleton East. 2v2 now. Let's see what Tail Spear is able to do here. Can he get to that spike without being seen? See Zelda gets him down. It's a 2v1. Scenic trying to look for Mima. Oh, he can't get Mima. And Park is going to be able to defuse the spike and win round number two. Good round overall for Park. Good rotations indeed, as your coach says. I agree. Nice 2-0 advantage for Park. Exactly what they need here. It's like some sort of spark to start this Valorant season. As they don't want to have a disappointing Valorant season, much like the Rocket League season. And they're making a strong case to try and win this one. 11 round wins away from taking this. And he's making their push towards the A site. Smoke going out. A bunch of zombies flying all over the place. Blinding Orb comes out from snow. Doesn't see one quite yet. Unmasked is going to be planting the spike. Not going to get it down. Jocelyn gets one. Can he get a second? Yes, he does. He actually gets a second. Can he get a third? No, Tail Spear gets one of them. 5v2 in favor of Park. Oh my goodness. What a snipe with that revolver. My goodness. Four, a 4k for Jocelyn. Flawless round for Park. Man, Jocelyn made him take NyQuil because Appleton East was sleeping that round. Park, a 3-0 start.
see if Appleton East can pull the strings together and try and come back in this one before it's too late. The snow is going to have the spike again. Let's see if they alternate routes. It's looking like they might push a slight. Jocelyn locks up with Unmasked. At least it's the Hound, and that one gets destroyed immediately. Jocelyn is going to get tracked. Unmasked trying to find exactly where Jocelyn is here. Tail Spear gets one. Spike down A. Spike Carrier is down as Storm as Snow. This beacon here. Gets axed from the lobby. Smoke's down. 5v4 in favor of Park. They launch a shot coming out from Tail Spear. See what 111's able to do here. Finds SMG Pickle, gets him down. Oh, but he can't get Lubes. It's peeking on the right side. Unmask gets another. 3v3 now, evening things up for Appleton East. Unmasked is trying to find another Meemaw right there. Is he able to see him though? I'm not sure. He's going to plant the spike anyway. And Meemaw reads that perfectly. 3v2 in favor of Park. Left. 30 seconds left here. Crunch time. Park gets another. Meemaw gets two. Zelda's the only remaining member left for Apple City East here. Is going to get tracked. And that's going to open the door for Park to know exactly where Zelda is. He is in a corner right now. In a box. Ten seconds left. It's going to be a tall Get task for him to do anything here. As he's in a 3v1. Time's ticking here. And it looks like Park is just going to win this one straight up. And they are. Park forces the timer to expire on Zelda. And Park wins four straight. before the round swapping begins, or roll swapping, I should say. One 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 trying to find Tail Spear, he's not Being able sight. to. That's fine, Jocelyn, but Snow beats him to the punch. Tail Spear gets one, one 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 shuts down Tail. 4v3 in favor of Appleton. One 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 shooting random stray bullets out. Spike is planted by Appleton East. Appleson is going to be guarding that spike with their life here as they're trying to get a round win. Still a 4v3. Pickle spotted. 1 on 1. Narrows it down to a 4v2 in favor of Appleton East. Meemaw gets one. Meemaw heals up moves. Pickles is going to get Zelda's. Scenic is going to get one. Blue's going to get one. Snow is going to get one. It's a 1v1. Oh! And Appleton East wins that one. A nail-biting round there, but Appleton East gets their first round win. Could be the start of a momentum a change drop? here, but you never know. Thanks. Definitely Cash and Park on their toes here after winning four straight. Round six. Beginning. Looks like Unmasked is the one with the spike again. I keep on wanting to call it Diffuser, but it's not Rainbow Six Siege. And nonetheless, the Louvs gets immediately down. Pickles gets one. Mima gets one. Jostle throwing an ability out. Get Zeldis. It's a 4v2 in favor of Park. Taking up right where they left off in round number four. Scenic and Unmasked plotting on what's the next turn of events here. What can they do here in this 4v2 situation? 
Looks like they're going into A site. Marble Strike coming out from Tail Spear here. Spike is going to be planted. Jocelyn is able to get unmasked down. It's a 4v1 here. Meemaw defusing. Scenic trying to get him. Gets Meemaw, but Tail Spear finishes him off. And he defuses the Spike. And Park is going to win round number 6. Increasing their round wins by four. Heading into round number seven, almost halfway until the round, until the roll swap begins. Let's see what Appleton East has up their sleeve. Let's see what Park is able to do on defense. Can they pounce Appleton East yet again to win round number seven? We shall find out. Tailspear locking horns with 1-1. One, one. Stimbeacon here. Stimbeacon gonna come out. Jocelyn's gonna get one. Unmasked is going to be planting. Oh, it gets denied by Jocelyn. He gets his second. Hailspear gets another 5v2 in favor of Park. Not slowing down on defense. 3k for Jocelyn. 5v1. Let's see what one is able to do here. Just a frenzy SMG. And a few abilities. On Reyna is all that 1-1 one -one has here. Picks up the Spectre though. See if 1-1 one -one can do the unthinkable here. See if they can pull off the pace. Gonna be a very tall task. This one goes invisible for a second there. 30 seconds left. Time is ticking. Almost got pickle too. This one looking like a lost cause for Appleton East here. 1-1 one, one trying to flank here. Gonna be Jocelyn. Gets Jocelyn. It's a 1v3. A 1v2. Time sticking here. See if 1-1 one, one can find the other two kills before the timer expires. And it's not looking likely. And Park is gonna win. Wise job of the rest of the Park members. Just staying back behind cover. Wise move as Pickle finishes off 1-1 one, one at the end of the round. Just had insult to injury. Six to one, round number eight's about to begin. Tough break there for Appleton East. Very frustrating situation for them as all they're trying to do is win round wins, but Park is not backing down on defense. Playing like the Legion of Boom being as dominant as they can. Heavy hitters are hitting when needed. The rotations are great. Team strategy is off the charts. Park has it all so far in this matchup. Ice is going to be broken. Jocelyn locks eyes with one. Found one. Tracks one of them. Try to track another. Gets Snow. Able to get him. Jocelyn has to be the MVP of this matchup so far for sure. Oh, not gonna find one as Pickle is there to get the kill. Oh, Jocelyn finds the second one. Spike carrier is killed. 4v2 in favor of Park. So 1 1 drops Jocelyn. One enemy remains. Meemaw gets one. See what Scenic's able to do here. Meemaw gonna come up. Oh, and Meemaw finishes him off. Park wins round eight. It's looking more one-sided as this match goes on, but let's see if Appleton East has anything up their sleeve here. I mean, they won their round when Park won four straight. And up to this point, Park has won three straight. We see another round win come off from Appleton East based on that pattern. But it all depends on if Appleton East can really crack the code and Dysentorian Park, throw them off of their rotations, do something. 
in order to get back in this one. As if we're not able to win rounds here quickly, this one might be over fast. Looks like Appleton elects to push the A site. Appleton, he's still a bit clumped up in the middle here. Looks like Jocelyn's gonna try to flank all five members all right there, and Jocelyn gets blasted right away. 5v4 in favor of Appleton. He's almost got one there, which would have been very impressive in that situation. Dog fight going on in the A site. Unmasked gonna try to plant. Louvs gets the kill with an ability and an AR kill as well, or an LMG kill. SSG Pickle gets one. 3v2 in favor of the Panthers. Scenic trying to peek at any way he can here. He didn't see Meemaw though. Zelda gets Meemaw though. Zelda in a 1v2 situation. Again, 30 seconds left on the clock. This is the third time Appleton East has been in this situation here, but it's more favorable as a 1v2. But Zelda only has one fourth of his health Takes left. Like 32 health gets his drone out there, but time is ticking. That drone is not going to go fast enough to mark them. 10 seconds left. Standing ahead. Launches the bolt. Scans the perimeter. The Has the spike, but Lou's gonna read him. Gets the 3k for the round. Park wins round number nine. <sighs> round number 10 is going to begin. Joseph the Voice stopping by at NYPB, giving me a good fist bump of encouragement. All right, looks like Unmass is gonna have it, but immediately Park setting up shop. They're being very aggressive on the defense. Players on either side here. This could get ugly in a flash here. One one takes out SG Pickle though. Jocelyn gets one. See what Appleton East is able to do here. Scanning drone gonna go out from Zeldis. Hits a target. You want to play? Let's play. Shock dart. Gonna fire two shock darts now. See if they're in the proximity of anybody on the park. Mima looking to peek. 1-1 one, one. gets him immediately with a headshot. Mima has the ultimate. Get Sage's Barrier down. That's going to slow down Appleton East. It's a 5v3 in favor of Park. 5v2 now, as I say that. 30 seconds left. Scenic has Chamber Sniper. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though, in this 5v2 situation. And again, just the ability of Park to drain down the clock, make Appleton East be on their toes here and not know where to go. Last player standing. This is the fourth time that this has happened to Appleton East All in this charges. matchup here. Scenic the last hope, but again, left. just nine seconds left. Not enough time to plant. And Park is going to take round 10 again. That's going to be five straight round wins after losing one to Appleton East. Very impressive. Eleven, second to last round before the roll swap begins. Nine to one is the score heading into round eleven. If you're just tuning in, this is the Varsity Week One Match of the Week stream featuring the Appleton East Patriots versus the Racine Park Panthers. Currently, the Racine Park Panthers in the green are winning nine to one. Sorry that the overlay is a bit inaccurate, but can't really predict where the home team or the attacking team is going to be. But for next time, I will know where to put them. Spike is going to go down unmatched, finds an open seam, puts it down, Spike is planted. Appleton East setting up shop in the A site. It's a 4v4 right now, grenade going out. Unmasked. 
does not get pickles, but Zelda gets tail spear. Zelda gets another one. The three v one, and Appleton East is able to win. Scenic finishing off pickle. Last round before the switch. Appleton East Custer deficit to seven. And it's the last round before the swap. Park needs just four more round wins in order to come out victorious and advance to 1-0 on the season. And boy, that'd be a good start for this squad. See if Park stay as aggressive on defense. Already setting up in the A site. I have one member in the B site that is Pickle. So I can like park on defense is gonna be a little more conservative here. Just gonna wait and see what Appleton each tries to pull out. One one is in about with SG Pickle. Gets him to about half health. Unmasked. Gets SG Pickle. Jocelyn gets unmasked. One one gets Jocelyn. Nemo gets snow. Mima trying to find another. Finds 1 1. Not able to get him down though. It's a 3v2 in favor of Appleton East. Scenic planting the spike. Spike planted. Spike is going to be planted. Scenic going to try to guard that thing with all his life here. A gift. So Appleton needs to start cranking out some round wins here if they want to stay in this. Oh, Tail Spear gets one though. 2v2. Zelvis cuts it down. 1v1. Situation. Tail Spear clutches it up for Park. And Park is going to take round number 12. Amazing join from Dale Spear. Wow. Sorry to spoil the party. That one's going in the highlight reel for sure. Man. Amazing. Switching sides. And now the roll swaps begin. Park on the attack. And Appleton on the defense. You got to think since Park was aggressive on defense, they're going to be aggressive on offense, but they're going to have to play strategically and smart. Can't fall asleep on Appleton East. Just need to stick to their P's and Q's to finish this one out as they only need three round wins to take today's game. Gets down. Snowstorm gets one with the pistol. Not gonna try and find another one. Finds Mima. Doesn't expect Mima to be there though. Three v three now. Three v two in favor of Park. Mima is gonna be planting. No one in Apple East near A site. And now Park is just gonna be guarding the spike. Scenic trying to flank. Slowly making his way towards the A site. It's gonna have to go faster than that. Zeldis is right there. Zeldis finds one. Not able to find anybody else's tail spear from behind. 1v1 situation. Once again, Scenic. We get tail spear here. Tail spear might find this. And he's able to. And Park wins round 13. Great simple play there from Park. Tailspear just waiting for his enemy to go right in front of him. Take the candy from the baby. Only two more round wins for Park. And there goes Park pushing. The A site, Mima is going to be planting. Mima is going to get the spike planted. Zelda gets one. Pickle gets one. 1-1 one, one gets one. 3v1 in favor 
of Appleton East, and Appleton East able to defuse that one. The miscommunication there from Park as Appleton East wins their third round of the match, claiming round 14. Just a couple of miscues there from Park. And it tells the story of that round. Appleton East cuts their deficit to eight here, but it's going to be a tall task to try and come back here. But I've seen crazier things happen, and that is possible. It's just going to take a lot to shut down Park. Sky Wolf is going to be going out. One of Appleton's members is going to be flanking. Unmasked on the flank now. He's going to encounter two of them. Can he get at least one? Yes, he does. Can he get the second? No. Mima shuts him down. 4v4, evening the odds. Mima setting up a wall. Smartly planting the spike. Able to get it down. And now Park has to guard it. 4v4 situation here. Very winnable and very losable in the same sense. Oh my! 2v3 in favor of Appleton East. 3v3. Mima able to heal one. Zeldis is defusing though. Mima is able to get him down. 1v2. Oh, and Appleton East may claim this round here if they're able to defuse it in time. And they are. Appleton East wins two straight. Team Ace. Team Ace or Appleton East. All right, round 16 here. Appleton East may have found an open seam for them to start winning rounds here. They've won two consecutive, but they're gonna have to do a lot more. They're gonna have to stick to their newly formed strategy, and they're gonna have to, again, get Park off of their toes, make them rotate the wrong way, make them misread the competition. Round 16 starting. Loobs' location buddy. is going to be revealed. The bomb buddy comes out from Loobs. Grenade. Grenade is going to come out. Zeldas is near that proximity. He's not going to get hit by it though. Loobs gets one. Tail Spear is going to try to plant here. Is he going to get it down? Yes. Now all the pressure on Appleton East. 5v4 situation. They will cover. It's spotted. Cover the race is on here. Luke gets one. Jocelyn gets one. Snow last able to take out one. Snow to last chance for Appleton East. And he's going to get knocked down. Park and win round number 16. One more round away from winning. Actually, two more rounds. Round 17 starts now. I've got your trail. Jocelyn gonna get one. Can he get two? No. One one strikes him down. One one gets two. Not able to get three. Mima able to get that kill. Mima finds Zeldas. Not able to get him. SSG. Trying to plant, gets it down. It's a 3v3 situation. Snow trying to flank from that side. Pickle right there on that corner. So you win this exchange here. Snow gets one. He's not gonna see Pickle though. It's a 2v2. Crucial round here for Appleton East. Zelda's trying to defuse, not able to. Scenic, the last hope. The last breath for Appleton East. He's gotta hurry up and defuse it here. 
Is he able to slightly sneaking towards it? He's gonna try to defuse it. Pickle going around here. One v one situation, but Tail Spirit cleans it up. Park wins round number seventeen. Oh boy, I might have had a slight issue here. It's his first to 13, but the game's still ongoing. Uh, all right, well, officially bracing Park Panthers take down the Appleton East Patriots, winning a 13 to four. know what to do. Apparently they want to play on anyway. Park gets two, Scenic gets one, Jocelyn gets one 4v2 situation here. Jocelyn gonna be planting. It's a 4v1 situation. Park gonna win what you could call a bonus round essentially, but this won't matter for scorekeeping. Seeing it gets one with a sniper, wish I would have got that. Can he get another one? Fire in this hole. No, he's not able to get another one. Park takes another round. Well, since the match has officially ended. That's a good spot. So players are still going here. If you're just tuning in, this is just bonus content right now is Park has already beat Appleton East 13 to 4. Spike down. Park is trying to wipe out all of Appleton East. Last player standing. Last player standing is Snow. Tail Spear snipes one. Park just running away with this. Alright well since the actual match has concluded the stream will now be concluding. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching the first Valorant stream of the spring 2023 Valorant season as Racing Park takes the game 13 to 4 over the Appleton East Patriots. I have been your fellow see commentator Anderson Jr. and I will see you this Thursday for Two Rivers versus Durand, Arkansas.